Hello, so we're just getting it towards the end of a little filming day here. I just did a video trying a few different types of Japanese whiskey and the guys thought it would be fun to give me a little bit of a challenge because obviously um, we were talking about the book earlier, my book which is coming out behind me here and it's all about how you should be able to kind of throw things together on the fly. So in the book we do do uh, Tom Collins um, but obviously we don't have any gin, we weren't filming with that. Uh, and we just had a little raid of their fridge so we managed to find some sugar-free maple syrup actually which I'm not quite sure how that works but I guess maybe it's healthy uh, and there was a soda stream um, and then I had some Japanese whiskey uh, that I was tasting this one is the Nika coffee grain which means that it's a grain whiskey so a little bit lighter brighter has quite a lot of um, nice kind of more citrus sort of fresher vibe so actually works really well in this kind of highball cocktail so if this is maybe, you know, you're someone that doesn't tend to have heaps of uh, things to hand at home to make cocktails with, you could absolutely substitute in honey um, or, you know, yeah, make up a little sugar syrup. Or if you do have a liqueur, something like a peach liqueur would go really nicely in this as well. So we're just going to go 60 mils or two ounces of the Nika coffee green. Obviously, if you're just making this on the fly at home, you can be as heavy handed as you like. And then I'll go a good square of our maple syrup and about 10 mils, but again, just a little dash of some lemon juice. You could definitely just squeeze a few wedges in there if you like. You could do, um, if you had some orange kicking about, that would work as well. Even lime, but lime is a little bit more acidic and in your face, so um, you would just want to check the balance on that. And then we'll add some of our freshly fizzed water to about halfway. You can give it a little stir, but it is all actually kind of coming together quite nicely just by doing it um, not over the ice. You allow it to combine and then you add the ice. But I'll just make sure. And then I'm going to slice a couple of lemon slices. You sort of pop it around the side and it makes it look really uh, pretty and deliberate. So, you know, if someone comes round that you didn't realize was popping in and you can whip this together for them then I reckon they'd be pretty happy with that. Now I'm gonna have a little taste. It's really good actually, the maple syrup works pretty perfectly. Um, it is a tiny little bit sweet and I do actually have some bitters kicking around as well. So I'm just gonna dash a few on top and that creates a fun little layering effect and then you'll get some aromatics when you lift it up to your nose too. So there we go, easy peasy Japanese maple highball. So now you know.